Okay, uh, we're going to make something that is meant to explode. Again? Again, yeah, <laughs> sure. <clears throat> <laughs> the idea is that we have these pipettes, and these pipettes we're going to cut them into pieces. pieces. Length unknown, content unknown, yet. The idea is that we fill the pieces with something that will either conduct electricity and explode, or burn and explode, or just plain old explode, but as long as it creates a huge fireball, or detonates, or we get a loud bang, <laughs> uh, we're, we're satisfied. Yep. So the basic idea here is that I'm going to just cut small piece of this tube from the pipette. Let's say worth one milliliter. There are markings on the side of the pipette. Then I'm going to take a piece of plain copper wire. This might be a bit too short, but this is a demo piece anyways. And then I'm going to put the copper piece in. I'm going to nick the copper piece at some point so that there's a point of high, a bit higher resistance and we will know where it will explode uh, so that we can uh, put the exploding bit right in the middle of the possibly burning liquid and yeah uh, we might cut here a close-up shot of us actually building a thing what do you think yeah it's a good idea <laughs> hell yeah okay mm. So, as I said, we start with a piece of a pipette that we're going to cut into a good enough length. I think maybe this is enough. Okay, now that I have the piece of pipette, I am going to cut a long enough piece of this wire. As we see, it's about twice as long as the pipette. Maybe it doesn't show on the camera as well, but it's a bit over twice the long. Now yeah, I'm going try to showing it in, on this area instead of this. Yeah. Anyways, now I'm going to try to get the copper from the wire, just using plain or old regular strippers, and then I'm going to make a small nick. Excuse me for a moment. Anyways, as I said, uh, we now have this piece of copper wire that I'm going to make a small nick in the middle so that it will be the highest resistance or the point of highest resistance. It's not much, it's just uh, maybe half a millimeter that I cut. It won't even show if I took a close-up, it's small enough. Now I'm going to slide this piece of plastic on top of it, and now I'm going to apply some hot glue so that it will be sealed from the bottom. Yeah, nice and generous amount of hot glue. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Be careful so it doesn't drop on the... Who cares? We can clean it up later. Or you can clean it up, it up later. I won't. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> okay. You miss uh, your clean. <clears throat> you clean. No. Okay, now, now that we have it glued, we just wait for it to set. And now we can put something in here. I'm going to take another pipette and um, maybe wait for it to cool first. You can keep Yeah, I can hold it. So it won't stick everywhere. I am going to take a bit of this highly flammable liquid into this other pipette. Okay, I'm going to close the lid. And now I'm going it's to... It's still a bit sticky, but not too much. Yeah. 
Now I'm going to put some of this flammable liqui liquid. What was it? Rubbing alcohol. Uh, propanol. Let's see, I don't remember. Yeah, it's propanol. Propanol, yeah. And now it's somewhat full. And I'm going to apply another glob of hot glue. So that it's a sealed container full of... Uh, flammable. Flammable liquid, ready to go up in flames. <laughs> sounds safe, <laughs> or, or it sounds safer than it really is. Anyways, now that we have this explosive... Uh, you know, hot glue is hot. Uh, now that we have this explosive unit, we can just hook it up to the electricity and see what happens. Yeah. Now we are going to create a couple more of these off camera, most likely. You can hold this. We're going to use uh, some iron wool, maybe. And we also have about, I don't know, three three times larger pipettes it does it show on the camera yeah that we're going to also maybe try after we have experimented first oh and there's a fly that flew into the hot glue glove we played earlier poor fly okay so here's the first set of experiment S experiments we have here we have uh, lots of iron wool. Next we have a tiny amount of iron wool in a pipette. Then we have flammable liquid inside of a pipette. Yeah, and then we have... Tin. Tin, soldering tin, yeah. And then of course we are going to take a piece of this iron wool and see what it does by itself. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So, let's go outside and experiment try. yeah indeed okay the first experiment today is the iron wool we are going to see if it explodes and more like how it explodes yeah before we do any other experiments we yeah. have already prepared yeah like the um, uh, highly flammable liquid and uh, uh, other amounts of iron wool inside uh, pieces of pipettes. Yeah. And uh, also a small amount of tin inside a pipette. <laughs> yeah. Those are what we are going to try next. Yeah. This should be fun. Indeed. <laughs> iron wool and electricity. Test one. Push the button! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I know you can see the light. <laughs> We're most likely dead now. Push the button! <laughs> Whoops. Tin pieces in my pet. Push the button! <laughs> oh, se, se meni aika komes. Whoa! <laughs> oh, some tin vapor. Ugh, smells bad. Push the button! Oh, se, se meni haita komes! Tiny amount of iron wool. Press the button! Oho, se oli julmeto. That was big. That was huge. Press the button! Oho, se oli julmeto. Lots of iron wool in pipette. Push the button! Uh -huh. That was interesting. The pipette melted in a couple of places and shot out the iron wool as sparks. I think the close-up will be more interesting of this one. Push the button! Huh? Flammable liquid in pipette. Push the button! Nah, meh. We can see lots of smoke. 
the wire tore itself apart and there's some black soot that could be from anything, even the previous experiments. Some vaporized copper and there is no pipette to be seen. This was a bit of a lackluster performance for this. Next time, maybe a bit bigger experiment. Push the button!